Yo, it's your boy, Sick Freak back at it again with another video. And today I'm gonna be hitting you with another sneaker collection I got for mine. Oh yeah, and basically I have bought new shoes and got rid of like two from the previous time. So yeah, so I felt like I needed to make a new one because like I've changed like 50% of my shoe collection. But yeah, let me get to the video. Okay, so it's gonna be like from number one to like number whatever I have. It's no numerical order at all. I kind I got favorites at the end. I'll tell you my top five. But yeah, let's just get onto the video. So first, we'll start with the shitty shoes I got, which are my Puma suede, all black with the white stripe. I usually use these beaters. Yeah, it was like a forty, thirty dollar shoe. Not really much value. I haven't worn it a lot. I don't like how it looks on my feet, but overall it's a nice shoe. My second shoe, sorry, I got some Kobe 80s, my basketball shoe. Close to everything, it's comfortable, the traction on the shoe is amazing, flexibility, ankle support at some point. I recommend you guys to get one of these mitts. Then my third shoe, I'll start going with the more comfortable stuff, you know, the lifestyle runners and shit. Um, Nike Vapor Max, Vapor Max. Fuck, I forgot the name. I'll put the name right here. It's a simple shoe. Was it everything? I like it a lot. The little orange part. So yeah. And my fourth shoe is a black, a oh, triple black Karachi with a little white on the tongue. I usually use this for school. Was it everything? It's comfortable. Low key, I would prefer the white one. But I had to get the black one because of school. And these are on sale for 99 at Jimmy Jazz. So yeah, I recommend you guys to go buy you some. Then my fifth shoe. All black Air Force One. Simple. But I don't like it. Low key. Anybody wanna buy it off me? Give me at least 35 bucks. It's like there's a minor creature here. Stars are still there. Insides are not dirty. Like wear them like three, four times. So if you wanna buy it, just hit me down comments or email me or instagram or snapchat my sixth shoe is a high top air force one it has a lot of sentimental values for me because i was given to from someone and i want to restore this shoe because the blue right, right here is all like across it's coming off because it's an old shoe it's like the yellow one on the bottoms the creasings and from the front this from the front the toe box the leather is starting to start cracking and shit. That's why I do want to restore the shoe. My seventh shoe. Hold up. Seventh shoe is a simple Air Force One. This black Air Force One I do like. I don't really wear it because I like it a lot. It's a simple gum bottom, white soles, black and white uppers. And you know, it's just simple. I low key, for me, it gives me the. Cortez vibes, a little black and I mean the white, to swoosh in the back tab. And then the leather on this one, it's way better than the white ones, and the black original white and black Air Force one. It's like the, the leather is buttery and it's all like, you know, it's plush and everything. So I really like the shoe because of that. Okay, so now we're gonna start getting into the Jordans. Me, I really like Jordans. I don't got like as much as I want to, but low key, I was starting to slow down and buy shit because. I'm wearing the breads, no, December or November, and the uh, 12 Royals that are coming out. It's next Saturday, so I'm gonna get those and the review on those. These are one of my favorite, probably my top five. Uh, Jordan 11, lowest you gonna see. You know, I like them a lot when I'm in the sun because the white and then the blue hits a lot. I don't really wear them because I don't have enough outfits to go with these. Yeah, let's go to the next one. And this one. It's probably my number two favorite shoe. I just don't wear it. I wore it once and it wasn't even for four days for like three hours during the day. Like, as you can see, there's no creases. The stars are still here. There's like a little dirty stuff right there. But yeah, it's one of my favorite shoes I got right now. The low low key on the high tops, but I'm not trying to shop them up for $100 to $200 on a Jordan 1. Especially if also probably on some reds. Or Royals, Chicago's maybe, 
top three, I think, the Jordan 1 low top three. And yeah, I like it because the hints of gold, you know, pops out. It's a really nice shoe. If you haven't seen the review for any of these shoes, go check it out in my channel. You could just find or scroll down, you'll see some. Most, most of them got reviews, some of them don't because I've had them already. Or I just didn't, I felt like not doing the video. <laughs> but yeah. And number one, my number one favorite shoe, the Jordan 1 Black Cement. And it is the Nike Air in the back. You see? I use this shoe a lot. A lot. For school. Whoa, what the fuck? I really noticed this shit. It has like some stuff on the bottom. I'm about to clean it. But yeah, every time I use it, you can see scuff right here. It gets dirty. I don't know it. Right there. So I do have to wash this one. I really like it because it's black and then the red on the tongue and the little little eyelids right here, circle ones. It like gives it a pop. It goes with everything. It's like an amazing shoe. I do recommend it. And when I purchased it, I asked for it size ten and a half. And I got here it was size ten. But I tried it on and it fit. It was like it was snug, but it was. I decided to keep it, you know, not to do the whole hassle of returning it, getting the bag, all that shit. I don't know trying to go through that. Then we're going into the Jordans that are like one of my beaters, or like I don't really mind using the dirt, or getting dirty. This one was my first Jordan I purchased by my money. It was a Jordan 5, I believe. They were international pack. I got the Barcelona, I believe. Barcelona, Spain, something. As you can see, it doesn't have the thing because I took it off. I use the shoot the ball and I just want to raise. Because, as you can see, the dog must go off right here. And the leather is starting to crack and it's yellow. The bottom is yellow. And I'm not trying to restore it. It's a nasty shoe. But yeah. Low key, this one was my favorite shoe at one point. Then after it got dirty, I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to use it to ball. Where is the beater? Then my last shoe is this Jordan 10. This is probably the least. No, that one was my least favorite. This was my least, uh, second to least from like everything I got. I got more stuff and I'm gonna take it out right now. So I'll be back, but yeah, it's just simple. All white, blue and red. And like most again, you know, it has minor creases, but I barely wear this one. If anybody does wanna buy it, it comes out with the box. And the thing and the little paper and then, and then, yeah anybody want to buy some just a hundred and then you probably have to pay for shipping if you're not from Chicago if it's Chicago we can do meetups but yeah um I have some more shoes some NMDs I'll probably put a picture right now put a picture okay so there those and um I have some, oh these are Adidas, some runners, but like, these are Adidas runners, these are, they are not, they're, they're not ultra boost, they're pure boost I believe, but they're really comfortable when I usually go running if I always go to the gym, I used to wear this shoe a lot, it's really comfortable, stylish, I ain't gonna lie, it's just fucking ugly, low key it's ugly, but comfortability wise, it's an amazing shoe, I recommend you get it some actual ultra boost, Cause those low key are way better than these, but I, you know I'm not gonna pay for me personally. I wouldn't pay more than 100 for a runner, maybe for the Harajis 110. You know maybe on that price 120 below, I'll pay for a runner. But after one like 30, I'm not doing all that shit. But yeah, um, this is the end of the video. If you liked it, like the video, subscribe, comment what you want to see next, and follow me on my Instagram, add me on Snapchat. And if you guys see any of my other videos and you like this one, go down below and click on my channel and just scroll down. All my videos are fire the bangers, trust me, I believe. And there's more videos upcoming of stories about my shoes, um, reviews when I get the royals and the birds. And once again, if you like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.